Hey, collective. Okay, guys, let's get y'all a quick reading. I hope you guys are doing really, really well. Hopefully you've had a wonderful day or your day is starting well wherever you are. Let me see what the overall energy is for you guys. Let's see what's going on. The hidden realms. <clears throat> I'm not surprised to see this actually because it's showing me some level of growth. It shows me somebody breaking out of some kind of pattern that maybe they've been in. It shows me someone beginning to kind of accelerate, I want to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It shows me someone here just starting to accelerate something. Okay. Accelerate what? Somebody's going to start sharing more of themselves. This could be with another individual, but it could also be about... I, anytime I see this, the hidden realms, I often think that people are sharing more of, of themselves. You know, my gifts, my talents, um, a, a larger part of me. So this is someone who's really breaking open. What is this saying? Is it Rumi that says the crack is where the light gets in? Why am I feeling that so strongly? The crack is where the light gets in. Maybe somebody's going through a bit of a pivotal moment. I believe that, absolutely. I feel that. I feel like somebody is going through a bit of an opening. So this is not just about an awakening, not just about an ascension. I feel like this is definitely about... Well, somebody that's just cracking open. It's almost like the light is healing things or the light is beginning to really reveal things. <clears throat> and a lot of hidden talents here, I feel like as well, incidentally, I feel like it's almost like bringing someone out of, I don't know if this is complacency. I don't think it's so much that. I just think it's that I have not been at this level of comfort up until this point. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to expand. I'm ready to show others. I'm ready to let my light shine in some way. That's what I'm getting from it. Okay, that's beautiful. That's actually the overall energy. Let's get, I think I'll get some tea leaves today and see what this is about. Spirit, what else for the collective, please? Hmm, misunderstanding. Somebody could could feel like they're hitting a wall with you or maybe they've hit some kind of wall with you due to some kind of misunderstanding. Let's see. Let's keep going. <clears throat> family matters. This could be in some kind of family matters. It's interesting because this, if this is around family, oh, wow. This could be why they feel like they've hit a wall with you because there's something that's changing drastically, I feel like, within you. So you could be letting some stuff out. You could be also letting a lot of past hurts out as well, which means you could be speaking on these things. Things that you feel were not fair or not right in a particular situation. You could be airing some stuff out. But I feel like you've grown. So, see, this has something to do with your growth as well. It has something to do, maybe even with something that you're doing here. Okay, what are these stars about, you know? What are you allowing the world to see about yourself? Because this is not bad. This is actually quite good. This is quite beautiful. But maybe if you have not been outspoken in the past, or maybe if you've not expressed yourself in the matter that you are, perhaps this is what's creating some kind of misunderstanding, especially if you didn't speak out against things in the past here. It says, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Two cards come out. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. Look at that. Okay, this is uncomfortable a little bit because I almost feel like you are trying to grow and you have something around you that's kind of trying to block that or creating some kind of... Whatever you're trying to do seems to be misunderstood or it seems to be calling causing a bit of a rift. This could just be being who you are for all I know. 
Spirit is saying boots, you know, put your boots on. It's like uh, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. You know, maybe you need these boots to kind of kick people out of your way because I can definitely see that someone here is wanting you to kind of acquiesce to what they want. This is what this misunderstanding is about. This is why you may feel like you've hit a wall with someone here. But I don't feel like you're having it. I feel like you continue to move towards your goal in some way. This is, I don't know why I feel so uncomfortable suddenly. This feels, this feels very uncomfortable to me. I feel like you have your eyes on something or you have your eyes on some kind of growth or something that you really want to do that makes you happy. This could be even going towards someone or going towards some kind of passion that you have. But somebody else wants your attention here. This is family, okay? So don't don't think that this is some kind of person or lover or something like this. I feel like this is around some kind of family dynamic. So if it fits, it fits. And they're really striving for your attention. And I feel like they're trying to get, they want you, oh God, this is kind of weird. It feels very uncomfortable to me because I feel like they could use some kind of manipulative measures in some way, even to keep you kind of focused on what their needs are, or what they need for you to do here. I don't like anything that says somebody's going to try to get you to do something against your will, but that's what it feels like. That's the card of the club here, which tells me there could be some kind of force <laughs> that is actually involved. Now, whatever that force is, doesn't have to be physical. It could be, you know, I don't know, if they hold the purse strings or something like that, it could definitely be something like that. It could be an intervention <laughs> to some degree. I'm not really sure. Let's keep going. Archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths, I'm telling you. You're about to take off in a different way, and I think you welcome that. This feels like a, a breath of fresh air. It's like something that you want. So you could be moving away from your family or from loved ones, people that you actually consider family. Your family could actually be at a distance or something like that and feel like you're so involved you know, in, in whatever your situation is that you're not helping with another matter. I don't know. I don't know what the exact situation is. Of course, everyone will be different. But I can see that something's trying to really open up for you. And it's actually allowing you to kind of open up more too. And, and really shine, I feel like, in a situation. In your life, okay? So more of you is actually coming out. More of you is being exposed in a really positive way is what I'm getting. So you you should be following this path. And this path, I feel like, actually is what feels right to you. Wow, I'm almost tempted to tell you not to get caught up in this because I feel like this is just like emotional manipulation or them using something, whoever this is in your life. Maybe to create strife, but I'm feeling more on an, on the emotional scale. However, when I look at the card, it says club. Someone trying to make you do something against your will. So that could be in that particular respect there. It's almost like using guilt or something like that. Yeah, look, you, you have something new coming in for you. I don't, there's no way to look at this new job, new career, new opportunity, new possibilities, new paths, whatever it is. It's opening you, opening you up to something completely different. It's going to allow you to come out in a way that maybe you have not done until this point. A lot of your talents are going to begin to come to the forefront in a sense, but I think it requires you making some kind of change or... Or even just focusing on you. <laughs> Is that an agreement? I don't know why. He's, he's been doing this the last couple of readings. Like an interference. Are you trying to tell me? Hmm? Are you confirming there's some kind of interference? Huh? When someone's trying to work? <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. So it definitely seems to me... Like you're being told this for a reason, okay? You're being told this for a reason. You may not be able to get around whatever this wall is that they're trying to build in front of you or almost lock you into something is what I feel. 
but this is kind of your time you have to kind of find or you have to follow us what it looks like you have to follow your plan you have to follow your destiny there's something here that's going to make you very very happy you may find that you're bringing out some kind of talent too that either you don't know about or maybe it's kind of undiscovered i feel like it's your time to shine in some way shape or form let's keep going actually i'm not gonna get i don't think i'm gonna get the archetypes tonight let me pull from this card or let me pull from this deck Spirit, what else for the collective please trust yeah so you have to trust what you what you're feeling here i think you have to trust this path that you're going on as well you can see with all the colors here in the cards, it just feels to me like where you're going is going to be, I, I almost said abundant for some reason. I don't know why. This card doesn't really indicate that, but maybe so. It's just very colorful. It allows you to really shine and express your, yourself, perhaps in ways that you've been unable to. There's You definitely feel like you're either bogged down, a little suffocated in a particular situation. I feel like guilt is being used. Or something's being used here to kind of hold you down or hold you back in some way. Yeah, from going and kind of discovering yourself. Discovering the world in some way. Maybe traveling. Okay. You might be moving somewhere else too that puts you far away from your family. There's just something here about your life. Okay. But look, this is saying spring. Of course, it's spring in the northern hemisphere. I'm, of course, looking at this as growth. Okay. I always do. Unless I feel differently about it. I think something is coming up for you quite drastically is what I'm getting. Something here is definitely coming at you and it feels like it's coming quite. Wow. The lights just went off. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. What is that? It is storming here. It's been storming all day. So <laughs> I think we're okay. All right. Let me see. Give me one second. Looking a lot of interference here, huh? Energy is good over here, so I don't think it has anything to do with that reflection. Okay, so you may find yourself during the course of this time here wanting this growth really bad, okay? Thinking about it, bringing it into being, going into a period of reflection as well. This person is definitely reflecting a lot. I feel like they are having to go almost into hermit mode. They're feeling very insular at this particular time. Definitely looking for answers. I feel like I'm digging into my life as well. Okay. I still have so much more to do. I still have so much more to share is what I want to say. Yeah. We have rest and fortune okay so maybe this reflection is coming as you kind of rest maybe you need rest you could be exhausted from whatever everything is that's kind of going here it's pushing you into a time though of growth is what i feel okay the grounds are fertile fertile here okay to start springing forward i feel like to bring something new into your life, to bring some new manifestation into your life, but it does require a lot of trust here. Maybe you don't take a lot of time to rest. Maybe you feel like you're pulled in a lot of different directions too. There's something here about your mind, your mind being ex extremely active. So you may be overthinking or replaying events or something in your head or even something here that is going on. Maybe it's trying to keep you stuck in something that you're uncomfortable with. The fortune here, the will of fortune is definitely telling me that you're going to figure out that if you begin to move forward, that it's time to move forward. That's number one is the will, right? It's time to move forward and that things are actually going to be better for you. Like it's going to feed your soul in some way. That's what I feel. Whatever this change is, it's going to actually nourish the soul in some way, shape or form. Yeah. And you're going to feel such gratitude is what I feel. There's some sense here of relief that is coming. And we have rise. There's some kind of relief that is coming. I think gratitude should be implemented right away. That's what I'm feeling. Obviously, that is a very high vibration. Just bringing in gratitude every single day. Finding things to be grateful for. To kind of lift you out of this. Now I feel like I'm going into a bit of a funk. Someone could be experiencing a lower energy. 
not a negative, well, it is in a negative way, but not like you're thinking that way. I do feel like I'm going into a bit of a depression or into a sadness. The sadness is about the loss that needs to happen. It's almost like a part of you is dying or a part of you that you've known is actually, is dying, okay? It's a spiritual death, though. It's not a real death, hopefully. Um, it's a spiritual death. You need to have persistence for whatever this is that you're trying to do. And you need to have that within your attitude, your behavior too. I feel like you could be a person. I don't know that you're necessarily easily swayed, but I think that someone thinks here that they can sway you in some sense to do what they need you to do and to keep you from some kind of possibility or some kind of path that you should be on. Somebody's going to be very, I think you have to be very persistent about your goals. I definitely think you're going to have someone that tries and that tries to keep your focus on them or keep you attached to them or keep your energy. I feel like it's focus, your help, your assistant. They don't want you to move towards that. And I don't know that you're going to be able to get this person to see your side of things because I see there's a wall here, right? This misunderstanding, whatever has happened here, there seems to be a wall here that's stopping any real misunderstanding. And I got to tell you, this is difficult to read because I do feel like there's no sway in this right now. That's what that wall is, right? It's solid. There's no actual sway in this. It's like, well, I'm not going to bend. I want you to do what I want you to do. But the thing is, is, is anybody considering what you want to do and what makes you happy? I don't know. That's not actually what I'm seeing in these cards. Whatever you need to be persistent at here is going to help you to actually rise out of, I feel like, a bad situation or a situation that could actually keep you stuck in something that you don't belong in. That's what I feel. Whatever it is, I feel like you need to rise above that. Or I think you will be rising, but you got to be persistent, okay, in your movement. And maybe this is something that you're figuring out during this point of reflection as well. If I want things to move forward, okay, I need to be very persistent. I need to be grateful for what I have, and I also need to be very persistent. I need to be grateful for these opportunities. Something here is going to be presenting itself if it's not doing so already somebody could actually wear cowboy boots i don't know why i just got that very strongly so maybe somebody's a singer or country or you know what i'm saying country singer i guess you don't have to be country to wear <laughs> maybe you ride bulls i have no idea okay i don't know who wears cowboy i think everybody wears cowboy boots. <laughs> but somebody does is what i'm feeling so maybe that's a message for you, if that is the case. Let's look at the cards. All right, Spirit, what else for... I'm going to move this up a bit. It's under that rain. It has been storming like mad today. <clears throat> All right, Spirit. For the collective, what do you want the collective to know? What is coming out in these energies here for the collective, please? It's definitely a family thing. I didn't I tell you, you have somebody around you that's emotionally manipulative. This is mother of cups. This could definitely be a parent. This could be a wife, okay? This could be an ex. So, you know, this could be the mother of your children, the father of your children, something like that. You definitely have, you could definitely have a parent here, okay? This could be somebody that uses money as well. This is definitely family. Something about you leaving. The misunderstanding is almost like, well, if it's, that's that might be the force right we're going to cut you out financially or you know you're not part of this family if you go somewhere if you follow this path or maybe it's just something you're engaging with in some way let's keep going spirit mm, I should come out as the mother of sword look at this there's a lot of women around this I have three women around this I have a mother of wands, I have a mother of cups, both in reverse, and then I have the mother of swords that is actually upright. This makes me think that you're being ganged up on. I don't know, by sister and a mother here, or by sisters, or by family members in some way. There's a lot of feminine energy here. Honestly, it doesn't have to be sisters. We know that we carry both. It could be somebody heavily 
in there, but I feel like there are women for some reason. You're trying to keep your, listen, it, it looks to me like you're not reacting. You're not getting emotional about whatever this is. You're just paying attention. It looks like to the details. You're being very honest. Okay. I think you're being very astute, maybe in assessing the situation for what it is. You got someone here that's highly manipulative. Absolutely. They don't like something about your attention. Oh, we got a partnership as well. So maybe you're moving towards some kind of partnership. Maybe that is what this opportunity is or what this path is, this possibility is. Maybe this has to do around some partnership in business as well. We have the six of wands here. So whatever it is. Whatever it is, is going to throw you into a position maybe of authority or a position where you're being seen or respected in some way. It could be a very competitive position that you're in as well, but I feel like their conflict. See, this is them. Who is this? Okay, whoever this is for, someone is definitely trying to stop you from, from pursuing something that is going to turn out quite well for you. That's what I get. And I think you have to be persistent and kind of fighting this battle because I can see that it could be family that is around you that's trying very hard to create some kind of conflict around it. Now, I don't know if you're moving towards love, if you're moving towards some kind of partnership. Maybe it's a business partnership as well, some kind of contract. <laughs> That's going to bring you a certain amount of notoriety or respect or something like that. It could actually put you in front of other people. I feel like someone doesn't want to see that. They don't want to see the new start here. These are people that aren't being honest with you about something. Definitely people that are thinking about their own needs and maybe how something is impacting them or will impact them. Your new job, your new career, your new opportunity, whatever this new path is that's opening up for you. You know, it's interesting here, if this is like an ex-wife or anything like that, you know, maybe that's why this says, I'm going to use a club here if I have to. Someone will try and make you do something against your will. Hold something over your head or maybe tell you that you can't see your children or, you know, whatever this is. Like I said, this is feminine energy, but this can be a masculine and feminine energy as well. So just flip the energies. Someone doesn't like that you've been diving deep. I feel like into yourself, figuring yourself out, allowing yourself to explore. This is exploratory, right? I see a bunch of stars here to explore more of who you are and what you're about and what you have to offer this world. You're not following this. Okay, you're not following this path that someone has set out for you and something you're doing is actually rocking someone else's world. Possibly several people is what I'm getting here. They don't understand you. Okay, so right now you're probably the black sheep in some way, shape, or form. And I'm going to tell you something else. You're a bit of a dark horse as well because I think that others aren't going to see this coming. You're discovering a lot about yourself and that's what the driving force behind what you're doing here. But it's definitely going to bring you something that's going to be very productive for you, I feel like, and bring you a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. It could even be love. I'm not sure yet, but definitely some kind of partnership that you're in sync with. Tony's definitely trying to create some kind of conflict to block whatever this start is. And it's interesting because that's on the Ace of Swords. It makes me feel like this this is would truly be the authentic you that you're trying to step into. They don't want that. And they may not want some kind of truth to come out about this as well. But they definitely don't want you standing in your truth, in your authenticity in some way. Baffling. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's hear what else, please? Start to say too many hands in the hen house, and there's the freaking fourth one. Mother of Pentacles. Now, look, we got too much going on here. Too many. This looks like a bunch of females to me. It doesn't have to be. Maybe you're surrounded by a bunch of females that do not like the path that you are trying to walk here. Here's the Father of Pentacles. Though. 
okay the path that you are trying to walk here you may have somebody here one person anyway that's on your side that maybe is trying to be supportive and be the one that is very logical about the situation yet you have so many others that are being pretty difficult it looks like you better watch out for this this is what i'm going to say to you because <clears throat> i don't even know why i said it that way honestly i do think you need to be aware of it for sure yeah look there it is right there five of swords i knew it was coming nine of swords five of swords here nine of pentacles in reverse somebody does not want you gaining some kind of independence and going out into this world and pursuing something off the beaten path that it looks like they're more secure in with than you are and what i mean by that is you may have you may have been doing things a certain way for so long you may have even had a certain career or something like that people are not liking the way that you're going off the beaten path and they're trying to they don't want that for you they don't they definitely don't want that for you and they may be trying to do something here someone will try and make you do something against your will right because they feel like a bond so you may have built this wall you may have been like look i'm gonna do what i want to do here this is my life this is not your life and they don't like it but look at all these opportunities and it may be something so this could be something as easy as i'm gonna join a band okay i'm a musician and i'm going to pursue um, you know, my passion. I don't want to be an attorney. I don't want to be, a, you know, I don't want to be a doctor. I don't want to be a scientist. I don't want to be whatever, an accountant. Okay, this is what I want to do. And they just don't like that. In their mind, that's why would you follow your passion? <laughs> you know? What are the odds that you're going to make it big? What are the odds that, you know, I mean, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It could be about love as well. Why would you do that? I'm just saying you got a lot of people in your business here and it appears to be around some kind of family unit. So you're out here thinking about your passions, following your passions, something that that you feel is for you is what I feel. Some kind of partnership that could bring you some kind of notoriety or put you in a pis I feel like it's a position of affluence I don't know why but it doesn't have to be it could be a position of just getting you I don't know some kind of maybe it is just some kind of respect it's going to get you in front of something so it is something that you may already be aware of get you in front of other people because I can see that opp opportunities a new job a new career is already presenting itself I think it might require a move or some kind of big change on your part I feel like there's a big warning here not to get caught up in everybody else's drama here. I think you've been reflecting on this for a while, okay? Or you could be reflecting on it. And now it's time to kind of move forward here. Be grateful these opportunities are presenting themselves. Be persistent in achieving what it is that you want for you is what I'm getting here. Somebody here doesn't want to see you break free and be completely independent. Okay, maybe you depend on these people. Maybe this is a huge codependent relationship in some way. Maybe you work for a small business and that's what it is too. But I mean, they're going about it the wrong way here. They don't want you to achieve this, I feel like, for yourself. You may have some support here with a father figure. Or I feel like there's definitely a father figure or a male that's very stable, that's an influence. This could be the partner as well. Okay, but this could also be, so this could be somebody who's watching you or somebody who, who is on your side in some way. This is definitely a stable force somewhere in your life. Or maybe they're just watching everything go down. Hmm, that's interesting. I almost feel like they're outnumbered in some way for some reason. So if they're a part of this crew here, they're definitely outnumbered. You could also be this Father of Pentacles. You could be... Okay, so you could definitely be this Earth sign as well. You could be this stable person or this person. I don't know, though, because they're trying to keep you from that. If you're a stable person, then you've been a stable person for them. 
Okay, you could also be someone who has definitely benefited them in some way from a financial perspective. You don't have to be an earth sign. You could definitely be someone with earth highly aspected in your, I just heard you're trying, okay, so maybe in your top three. Yeah, they don't, maybe what you're doing is turning them around in some way financially as well. They don't want you. To be in that whatever you're doing is creating a hell of a rift in someone else's life several people is what it looks like to me i'm talking about a lot of anxiety and they're trying to pass that off to you i love kind of this energy that you're in because you appear to be in i'm just going to chill and reflect and i'm going to rest it could have been really exhausting for you because why do you need this rest anyway maybe whatever you've been doing in your life um, it has kept you very busy, exhausted, working too hard, kind of stuck in the rat race. I definitely felt a strong sense of, I don't want to do that anymore. I have something else within me that I need to pursue. Okay. So I don't know that you're necessarily in this anxious energy. Maybe you are because you're making this change here. But I feel like other people are as well as about some kind of decision that you're making here. And they're trying to create a rift. And it could come with a fight. I'm just going to tell you. Okay. They might be trying to throw some kind of daggers your way to slow you down in some way, shape, or form. So that they can win at any cost. Right? The club. Okay, I'm going to try and make you do something against your will. I'm going to do things, you know, I'm going to throw as many daggers as I can. Maybe to slow you down or to create opposition or to get you to change your mind. I'm going to get my way. That's what I feel like. I'm going to get my way. Yeah, look at this. They do not want you to get, they're trying to interfere with some kind of new opportunity that you have. Definitely. And it could, I'm, there's a card of family. There's... <laughs> You can't make it up. Somebody does not want you getting some kind of new opportunity. They don't want you investing somewhere, but I feel like someone's making an investment with you as well. This is your family. Whoever I'm talking to, this is this may only relate to one person. I don't know, but this is people that you consider family or that you have considered family. That, that card in itself is about family opposition, family quarrels, not getting along, family losses, right? Miscommunications, everything like that. That's what it is. And maybe that is that club. You'll lose your family if you do this. You're, I, oh, wow. I almost said you're dead to us. Okay, so they might be pulling out everything. Let me just say that. Someone does not want whoever this is to seek their happiness, their fulfillment, follow their passion, whatever it is. If it's a love, if it's a, um, some kind of talent or something, you know, maybe it's a couple of things. I'm not sure. And spirit is telling you, once you rest, okay, get your clarity, do your reflection. Once you rest, it's time to bloom, okay? Springtime is here. It's time to begin moving things forward here. Have gratitude because we're going to open this path wide open for you. This is going to lift your energy to where you need to be. And then you're going to need to be persistent in pursuing what you want and closing any doors and maybe just building this wall between you and people that are trying to stop you. Okay, it's time for you to step in your authenticity. So they can't really, nobody can stop you unless you allow that to happen. That's what I'm getting from this. It's not going to, I don't care what they throw at you. They can't stop you. Unless you decide not to be persistent, you decide to roll over and to acquiesce to someone else's vision of what your life should be based on their own, it, it looks to me like insecurities or their own, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's insecurities or their control issues in some way. I would never let someone else's vision, okay, be my vision in life. It's just, just period. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. So spirit, what is the outcome of this situation for the collective, please? Oh, yeah. So you got something that you were definitely going to be working on here. Eight of Pentacles energy. This is a web that you're weaving. It could be something that you are building here for yourself. I got six of cups energy. Okay. This could be with someone who you know, someone who you trust. This could be with a childhood friend here. Someone who you go back with, maybe that's what you're doing. Maybe you're moving back towards something and they don't want you to actually do that. 
Whatever this is, it brings you a sense of fulfillment. There's honesty. I don't know why I started to say honesty. There is honesty in this because there's innocence in this, right? Six of Cups. So someone who I know, someone who I trust, or something that I know or trust, something that brings me a sense of happiness, okay? Maybe it takes me back to a space where I'm curious again and I feel like anything can happen, right? I got my mojo back in a sense. I got that in another reading. Son of Swords. This could be something you've been keeping your eye on for a while as well. Son of Wands. Yeah. Something's about to take off, it looks like here. Wow. Okay. Let's clarify on the full card, please. Something that you are watching... Wow. Okay. So you have a contract. You feel like you have a contract with someone here. If this is you, by the way, if this is you, if this is your reading here, I feel like you feel like you have a contract with someone here that has not been fulfilled. And I feel like you are weaving something here. You want to work together. There is something that's coming into your life regardless, okay? I feel like that you're going to be working very hard on. This is something you're creating in some way. Something that you feel like you are weaving together. This, this is definitely about some kind of goal, I feel like, or some kind of talent. I don't know where the partnership is coming in. Maybe it's with a partner. Because it's something you've been focused on. I feel like you've been putting a lot of mental energy towards it. And look how this is moving towards the past or moving towards the card here of the past. So now I'm watching this in the past. I'm moving towards this in a way. There's some kind of communication that is actually coming from it. And maybe it's about something that they didn't see. Something that I see two cards. Two cards indicating that something was not seen. Some kind of illusion has ended. Okay, regarding something that was not seen in the past, something that was not illuminated in the past, something that was hidden, basically, that may have stopped some kind of flow of something. So maybe somebody was given this opportunity or this offer before, but they could not take it because, again, too many, what did I say earlier? What came out? Too many hens in the hen house, something like that. Okay, it involves some kind of contract. Something that could have been good for somebody. Maybe it was an opportunity somebody walked away from because so many were making it a, a problem for somebody. Somebody is seeing this opportunity now. It's being illuminated that this is the path they should have been following. This is something that will help them in some way. This is something that will bring them joy, satisfaction. Let's hear what else. So there's some kind of communication that's about to start, I think, as it regards, yeah, as it regards this. Oh, wow. Look at all this. I think somebody around you is about to get a, a boatload of judgment. Whoever these people, I wouldn't even worry about this. Whoever this is that's, that's spending so much time trying to block you, I feel like from whatever, whatever these new opportunities are, whatever these possibilities are, I think they're about to go through a boatload of judgment. That's what I'm getting here. Absolutely. For getting in your business, for trying to block you from whatever this create. It looks creative to me. So it's some kind of new start to stop you from following your path. Okay. This might be in divine order as well. This could be something that is, this is something that could definitely be blessed in some way. Okay. You're supposed to do it. You're trying to do it, but you keep kind of running into this block. Yeah. You got somebody around you. Look, somebody is going down. I feel like over a situation here. They could be blocking you from some kind of love or some kind of love offer as well. But this is a person that is very unscrupulous. Father of Swords in reverse. This is a liar. This is a manipulator. This is someone who is cutthroat. This is someone who likes to win at any cost. 
I think they have tried to muddy the water so much and keep you in this place of being stuck for so long and block anything good from even coming towards you. What's crazy is maybe they felt like you were some kind of provider or contributor in some way here. So they don't want you. You are a big loss. Whatever your change is, is creating a big change, a, a change in their dynamic in some way. So they don't want you looking at other options or considering other choices. I feel like in your life, this is sick. Honestly, if this is your family, I'm sorry, but this is sick to me. Or people who you considered family, absolutely. freaking lutely Look at that. Lovers in reverse too. Maybe it is the next lover. I don't know. I don't think so. I'm getting so much around family unless it was an ex-lover that you were married to. I don't know. I'm getting so much here around family. There's a lot of people in this puzzle. That's what you need to know. There's a lot of people that are enveloped in this decision to try and keep someone, it looks like, out of whatever their bliss is, out of whatever their possibilities are, out of whatever following this, this talent, this path is. Maybe it involves another individual. Maybe it involves the love. Maybe it involves, I almost feel, you know what I'm kind of getting with this though? I feel like this has been an ongoing effort. That's sick, I know, but I feel that way. We don't need you focusing on love. We don't need you focusing on a particular person. We don't need you focusing on opportunities. We need you to work. We need you to contribute in some way. You might be propping up a whole damn family in some way, or you could have been like the glue for a family in some way, but these people are not good. And I keep saying family, by the way, because I'm getting cards of family and we clearly see family, but this could definitely be people who are around you. Like I said, that you considered family. If you work very closely with people at work or in some kind of group or something like that, it could definitely be that too could be people that see that you are a bit of a dreamer is what I'm getting. You're a person that's very passionate. You're a person that's obviously clearly been going through something, some kind of awakening, ascension, something here that's been discovering a lot. And you continue to get kind of this burning uh, desire, I'll say, to follow something different. And they don't want that happening. That's what I feel. They about to get hella karma if they're not already in karma. You know, you leaving, you following this passion, you going towards whatever this is, is definitely going to be dropping a lot of judgment on them. That's part of the judgment. But the judgment is for manipulating you, trying to stop, okay? Um, you from following some kind of bliss or getting opportunities or doing something creative that maybe they don't agree with, okay? Even following something to do with some kind of love or something that you feel emotional about or some kind of emotional connection to. If you're a person that has felt like a lot of your, you know, things have been falling apart and you don't know why, I would look at the people closest to you because that's what it seems like to me. But here's the deal. You're an emperor, okay? Or you're coming out in an emperor energy. And that's what you have to remember. You have to take charge. You have to be persistent. You have to insist, okay, on building your own life in your own way. All right. And not allowing other people to get involved with that or dictate that for you. They've chosen their life. That doesn't have shit to do with you. OK, I know that we're born into families, but come on, people who love you, they will support your dreams. They will support the things that you want, the things that actually add value to your life and bring you a sense of happiness. They will support you in that because they love you. Right. When you love someone, really love someone. It's not about I love you because of what you can do for me. It's I love you and I want you to be happy. I want you to be content. I want you to follow your dreams and what makes you happy and what helps you grow to be the best version of yourself. That is definitely not what you've been subjected to. So what I'm seeing coming up here is that you have realized something. There's going to be some communication towards it. You're moving towards something here that you might have missed before is what I'm getting. Okay. You're moving right into this Ace of Pentacles, this opportunity that's going to help you and it's going to create something for you. This is some kind of contract. So maybe it's a business for you. 
and also the people whoever this is within your family within your surroundings that tried to hold you back are going to be getting a whole lot of drama okay a whole lot of judgment at this time for their part in trying to stifle your process and your progress absolutely yeah yeah this is blessed okay some kind of anointing on this is what i'm feeling that's why this is happening to you and this is why this time it's coming up again it's coming up stronger it's really kind of that driving force behind you that's what i feel all right i'm gonna get a couple more cards and let's close out spirit what do you want the collective to know please Oh, I just saw 4444 on the clock. How interesting. I've been seeing 444 constantly. Is that about relationships? I don't know. I believe it might be. All right, Spirit. What advice do you have for the collective? Don't allow anyone to abuse your power. Oh, my God. Isn't it crazy how Spirit speaks? Unbelievable. Allow anyone to abuse your power or take it away from you. Remember, you will be treated how you allow others to treat you. Show them that you value yourself far too much to settle for anything less than what you deserve. I cannot believe that. That is definitely confirmation. And maybe you feel like you've been a bit abused by this situation as well. Like people have definitely worked hard to keep you back from something that is yours, okay, or something that you want. You wouldn't plant a seed and then dig it up every few minutes. It's about your manifestation to see if it has grown. So why do you keep questioning yourself? Oh, okay. Maybe that's what's held you back for a while. Your hard work and your decisions. Have patience. Stop overthinking and keep watering your seeds. Well, we already see they're coming to be. We have an ace of pentacles here. We have the archways, new opportunities, possibilities, paths opening up for you. And we see the pen here, a new job or career right that is coming into being for you so everything that you've been watering is coming into being and maybe you just needed to rest a little bit to get out of your own way to allow things right to fully process to come into being look at this it says if it is meant to be it will be you won't have to force it okay convince or worry over it let it flow let it be and let it come to you that's what's happening i'm telling you all right, you're attracting everything that you need. Trust the timing of your life. Wow. Listen, a big door is obviously opening for you. You're breaking away some, from some very negative, debilitating uh, energy that I feel like has been influencing you. That's what I feel like in some in a bad way. Definitely trying to, but don't worry about them. They're definitely getting theirs for all of their unjust okay behavior here that's tried to slow you down from following your bliss in some way okay so keep moving be persistent i feel like it, it's happening it's absolutely happening do not settle for anything less than what you deserve all right guys see you soon